two women who were accused of witchcraft in Biddeford, what we know about them from my research and other evidence, yes, of course, they were all elderly. They were all women, of course, even though there were accusations against men in Exeter roughly at that time. They were all without a male protector. They were widows, or in Mary Tremble's case, a single woman with no family. That made a difference. Women without men to be in charge of them were somehow seen as a sort of threat. They had independence. They were poor, they didn't have power, but they, that ability to do what they wanted was seen as threatening to society in some way. We know that Temperance Lloyd, straight away, her husband was a Welshman, lower in class than the majority of people here. There was trade across the Bristol Channel to Wales, but Wales as an oppressed country dominated by the British for centuries produced cheap labour. She married a poor man who died very young, and that was part of the persecution too. Mary Trembles, interestingly, has a name which I think of like David Trimble, was a Northern Irish politician. She had Irish heritage. Again, good grounds for persecution. Susanna Edwards was more local, but had a bit of a history. His connections with uh, prostitution and bastardy and things like that. Very much low status. Elderly, poor, there was no welfare state. There had been a difficult period recently in here in Biddeford of a, a poor harvest, a very bad year for weather, hunger, almost famine. People at the lower echelons of society would pay the price before anybody else. And they did. And that coupled with the tension of society of the struggle between the non-conformists and the ascendant Anglicans led to the situation which when it happened, it was able, it's rather like fire taking place in a particular circumstance, a bushfire. Here we had a, a particular bushfire in society and the women were the safety valve for the tensions in this important town with a, quite a large population of several thousand people in the town which had international connections and had influential people here.